Ladies and germs, welcome back to another video. In this video, I'll be going over the weekly recap, what trades that I alerted this week, and I want to go over the technicals, and basically, you guys can get a lot of educational content out of this. Now, you guys can get my trade log, so every single trade that I've alerted, a link in the description. And again, we're going to have some horrible weeks like we did uh you know the start of the month and we're gonna have some amazing and great weeks but overall if you enter in all of these plays you will be prof profitable and i also want to go over position size um over here on this video now ignore the one on september okay i'm still working on this trade log um september was a very very rough month for me but other than that you guys can actually go back all the way back and that's the cool part about the trade log for example we had a horrible start uh start of the month okay and you guys can actually see okay we had a day trade on apple and you guys can actually see it says ascending triangle scalp you guys can actually click the chart and you guys can see that okay we were looking at five minute apple and i alerted this play but we got stopped out at minus 10% because it broke the support. So overall, I'm loving you know my setup on the trade log. So make sure to check that out. Link in the description for that. You know, for example, another play on you know S and P 500. Okay, we were trying to scalp this breakout, but no, it hit our stop loss. So overall, that is what I really like um, about this. You know, it could go back, for example, in July, and you can see. Um, let's go back in like june okay and let's look at something like this okay uh a very nice 121 play on goldman sachs you can click the link and boom you can see that we were oh so we got like the bottom of the support so we bought off this major major support which is very very nice and i am still updating the trade log as you can see i'm going to remove this to the actual chart but overall you know next week um you know i'm always tracking my logs and we can always learn from this now the first trade was twitter so as you guys can see right over here twitter the strike the premium and then the gain now if you actually hover over you guys can actually see the profits so this is actually a new feature where you can actually see um the profits so for example you know 105 percent you know um you can go over here and you can actually see the profits which is very very nice so Let's look at Twitter right over here. So let's go a little bit back right over here. Now, if you guys actually see, you know, we had this symmetrical triangle breakout on Twitter um, right over here. So we got in calls around right at this breakout and especially right when we broke out of this ascending triangle at $64. That was kind of like the trigger. We broke out. We filled this gap. Now, I got out of this very early. Right when we filled the gap, I alerted a sell, okay? So I sold off for 100%, and it did hit over 350%. So that was very nice success trade on Twitter. And again, I had a whole video on that. So as you guys can see, one week, you know, we had a whole video on that Twitter play. The next trade was Starbucks. So Starbucks, 40%. So so we had a very nice channel on Starbucks right over here. So as you guys can see, we had a very nice channel. We had the support um, right over here again. We had the support resistance. And basically, we had a very hard resistance right over here. And we kind of closed, you know, above this. So I actually grabbed in um, calls right over here to actually play this downtrend breakout. So let's remove this. Now, this play looks very nice for next week also because, again, we have this very nice downtrend breakout. And then we have this very nice gap right over here. And you know, this was a very nice sell at 40% right over here. I reduced risk and I closed all of my positions because SPY does not look on, you know, it doesn't look too good on the daily. I'll be making another video on that. Uh, but overall, yes, Starbucks, um, it still, you know, looks very, very nice. And I'll be looking to alert it uh, possibly next week. So that was a nice 40%. So again, you can actually click on it and you guys can actually see the profits and all of that very nice good stuff um on twitter and the next play we had was sq so square right over here let's go a little bit 
back right over here. So Square had, it was a very, very similar setup to our Twitter play. So as you guys can see, you know, Twitter, Square, um, they were, they looked very uh, similar right over here. And we had this ascending triangle. And again, we had this very nice gap. So we scalped the gap. Now I actually did sell off early um, for like uh, 20 26%. Right when it filled the gap, I got out. So that was, you know, with square um, right over here. And again, we had a whole video on that. So you could have played it very, very nicely. The next play was hot from last week. So we actually had this from last week. Now, HUT hit our price target this week, okay? It did right over here. As you guys can see, we had entry, and it hit our price target right over here. So I was able to trim some positions off, and we actually got stopped out at break even um, on Friday. Like, HUT took, you know, it hit back in support, and we kind of got stopped out, and I'll be looking for another possibly re-entry but this setup was very nice and we caught you know a very nice and if you actually scroll down you know i made this video a while ago before it broke out um so that was very nice play on height and we and we kind of caught the whole breakout on bitcoin which is very very nice now um qualcomm right over here q c o m um Again, you guys can go right over here. You guys can click the chart. So I posted this chart for Qualcomm right over here. So make sure to check the trading log out. You know, for example, the square uh, trade recap. You guys can see all the trade logs, which is insane. Absolutely insane. You know, no other analyst does this. And I do want to cover my losses. So Qualcomm, again, we bought off right over here, this support. And I did sell out all of my contracts. Um on friday so for like 150 percent um so that was very very nice um and overall let's go over here to our two losses right over here now you like i was green all week and i know some people who are red because of position size um so what you gotta do is for example ten thousand dollars you know i have ten thousand dollars and what i do is i enter in ten percent in each place so one thousand dollars in each play now this way you know you enter in each play and just you know you're gonna win some and you're gonna lose some as long as if you're winning more than you're le uh, losing that is how you know the strategy works just getting more win than losses and always ten percent on each trade so um Overall, let's go over here into our PayPal loss, okay? I made a whole video on it, and the stop loss was given, and we got stopped out for, like, minus 20%. Now, let's pull up the chart. Even though we got stopped out, I had this sense of satisfaction that, oh, wow, okay, we got out at a very, very nice time right over here. So, as you guys can see, we were playing off of this major, major demand zone right over here. So, as you guys can see, this was a major demand zone right over here, okay? And as, you know, I talked about it in the video, we had this stop loss right over here. And at Thursday, so, um, you know, we got stopped out for minus 20%. So that was very, very nice uh, right over here. So this is actually minus 20%. I forgot to update it. Um, but we got stopped out for minus 20%. And we swung this. Um, but overall, just this stop loss was very nice. Yeah, we did lose. But hey, we had a great, great stop loss. You know, if you actually go back right over here, um, so you actually go to... I think it was September. I'm not sure where. So a previous log, a previous trade we did was on Square. And we just had a great stop loss. It just gives us that satisfaction like, oh, okay, we, we did have a red trade. But hey, look at our stop loss. So that is just very, very nice. Um, so overall, you know, stop losses are great. But you got to enter in 10% on each trade. Um, and I would honestly, you know, stop losses are probably more um, wait, I think this was 30%. Uh, position size is more important than stop loss, in my opinion. Um, now let's take a look at Disney. Now, Disney, we bought off support and I made a whole video on it, like always. Um, but I was looking to close above 170 and we did not. So I just kind of got stopped out. Um, uh, now I did alert a Disney position bef like before, uh, close for December expiration. So I got 
further time and I actually reduced my risk. So I'm only in one contract now for Disney. The problem with Disney was I said it was a confident play. And what what people did were they over leveraged and they bought more contracts and they went in aggressively. Now I did go in aggressive uh, for contracts, but you know that was still okay for me. Like you know I was playing with profits, um, but you know you gotta leverage accordingly. You gotta be you know in the right place, ten percent on each play, and please never go all in or never put in more than you can afford to lose. So for Disney, you know we learned a lot. Of, I feel like a lot of people learned where they just put in a lot more than they could have afford to lose. Um, but overall, you know, great, great week. We are gonna be getting horrible weeks. We are be you know, we're gonna get bad weeks. And we already know September was gonna be a bad week. Now, um September was red for me. I'm still working on this trade log. I'm still I'm still setting this up. But overall you guys can see, you know, you know, we had a bad week right over here. And so it's it's all like very nice clean and simple so overall if you guys did like this video you know explained it a lot of educational content on this make sure to check the trade log hope you guys enjoyed the videos make sure to like subscribe and overall thank you for watching and see you guys tomorrow at open at the bell bye bye